Hey guys, so today I wanna to talk to you about something different that's in my YouTube setup. It's a little bit different, it's very subtle, but this subtle change can really add a bunch of character to your video or to your new YouTube setup. By the way, I wanna give a big shout out for Nanlite for sponsoring this and two more videos coming soon about their newer products. Today we're gonna to be talking about their Forza 500 and their projector mount and also their gobo set. And for those of you who don't know what gobos are, in layman's terms, they're basically fake shadows. And I'm gonna show you how to use gobos, which is actually what you're looking at right behind me here, to improve your overall setup and also to use it in a bunch of different scenarios, for example, if you're an independent filmmaker. So some basic facts about the Forza 500. The 500 stands for 500 watts of power, producing a daylight color, 5,600 degree Kelvin to be exact, and it also has a relatively large fan, which also has the option to be turned off, but with limited power. The whole body of the light, just like we've seen before in many other lights, is made out of aluminum. But with this light, we also get a very rigid build quality and nothing feels cheap and I love the aesthetics. I love that carbon fiber design on the side of the light and the overall look just looks great. I really like the aesthetics of this light. You will also notice a large LED diode which has a ton of output and you can no problem recreate the look of the sun using this light and a Fresnel. When we take a look at the power supply or the ballast, this thing is massive. Not all V-mount batteries will work with this kit, so make sure that you do match the voltage that is labeled on the power supply with the battery, otherwise the light will simply not turn on. The Forza 500 comes with its own padded protective case. This is the same type of case you would find with any professional lighting equipment. So you can bang it around and travel with it easily knowing that your light is safe. Now let's move on to the gobo and projector mount set because this is what really blew me away when I first got it. Now I've owned gobo or projector mounts before in the past and they've been really cheap and small and very lightweight and just not built very well. When Nanlite and I first started collaborating, they, they said they would send me this projector mount and I was like, okay, that's cool. But when I first got this projector mount, it arrived in this steel aluminum case. And I was like, what the hell? What? It, what? And it was extremely heavy. As soon as I opened up the case, I was absolutely blown away. This projector mount was way bigger than what I expected, way heavier than what I expected, and the overall quality of the glass that was used inside of this projector mount is just exceptional. I can tell why it is so heavy. Just the parts and overall craftsmanship of this piece was just, uh, it was so good. Now, because this projector mount is so heavy, you will have to mount it on a C-stand and then the light will just mount directly on the projector mount. You will be using the yoke on the projector mount to mount it on the C-stand. Also, don't forget that this projector mount uses a Bowens mount, so this will work with many other lights as well. Also, I opted in for a gobo set. This gobo set is made out of aluminum, also very high quality, but you do have to be careful because when you're using the gobo set and inserting it into the projector mount, it does heat up quite a bit. But as you can see right behind me, you do get character when using gobos, and you can use them in a lot of different lighting scenarios, especially when it comes down to independent filmmaking. Here are some of the different examples of the gobos that came with the kit that I got. So here's kind of a closer shot of what the projector mount looks like. Uh, here's one big thing here, guys. You have to get a stainless steel uh, C-stand, all right? It doesn't have to be stainless steel, but it has to be one of those high quality C-stands. I'll link some down below because this mount on its own weighs almost 40 pounds, and that's excluding the Forza 500. So you're not really messing around when you're playing with this type of equipment, guys. It is extremely heavy, which is why they included an aluminum steel case with this kit. So this is not a toy. This is not something that you would just use for your YouTube studio. This is for professional filmmakers, all right? You can see that the Forza 500 is just a mere piece, like a small little piece of this whole entire setup. 
the projector mount itself takes up most of the space. And you can see just like a large lens and a camera, this just twists onto the projector mount and we're using the yoke of the projector mount to be mounted on the C-stand. Also, this projector mount is focusable. So all you have to do is loosen up this knob at the bottom and you'll be able to adjust the harshness of the gobo. Also, I do wanna add that the angle of how you point this projector mount is very important. If you notice, if you look back to my talking head portion of this video, the gobo is actually at a specific angle. If I have it pointed dead on, especially if you're in a smaller room, you're not gonna get that much of the gobo effect filling up that wall. You're gonna get a much smaller gobo. So position the angle in a way where it fills up the space better. And that's one of the best tips when using the projector mount. Now, if you're in a much larger room, you can get much larger shadows or gobos on a wall or projected on any other surface. So keep that in mind. It really does matter how you position the projector mount in order to get the best effect out of these gobos. Overall, I'm extremely impressed by what Nanlite is doing with their products. And by the way, I haven't even started talking about their eight foot Pavo tube lights. That's what's coming soon. And this is what really got me excited because they're one of the few companies that actually does a really good job with their tube lights as well. So stay tuned for the next two videos that I'm collaborating with Nanlite on because I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff. And that's it for now. I'll see you in another video. Peace.